Okay. So today we're doing an acrylic painting on canvas. Okay, this is a used canvas that I painted over with white and we're gonna start with our lightest color in the center. So you're gonna get your biggest brush right here and you're going to dip it into your lightest color and we're gonna start right in the middle. And I'm just gonna eye it. So since this is about eight inches, I'm gonna say my finger is about four inches and I'm gonna start right here in the center. Okay, I'm gonna get my big brush and I'm gonna go all the way across right there. Okay, spreading it across. I'm gonna start with my lightest color in the middle because this is our reflection, okay? And this is our reflection painting. So the color is gonna be all the way across with water. And we're gonna use blues today. Our lightest blue is going in the center and then we're gonna layer on a darker blue. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it in the water so I don't mix my colors in. I'm going to use the towel to dry out all the paint and then I'm going to go in with the next color. Please keep your brushes clean guys. Okay, my next color is going to go on the bottom and on the top. Okay, I'm going to start on the top. Okay, so I'm going across with this and you're going to see those two colors blend. That's fine. It's okay if your brush mixes the color, but it's not okay if you mix your color here on your palette. We want our palettes to stay clean. Let's keep going with our blue. Okay. My brush is rather dry. I'm gonna dip it again in my blue. Okay, I'm gonna go across. You're gonna see those blues mixing again. We want that color to be there, that dark color to get into the lighter color, yes. That works. I'm going to add some more dark blue. Very nice. Okay, we're going all the way to the top with this and then we're going to add some dark to the top, okay? So my brush is getting a little dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. If it gets too much water though, you need to take some water out. Okay, we don't want anything dripping. So make sure you use your towel to dry it up. And then we're gonna add our lightest color at the top and at the bottom. But before I do that, I'm gonna fix this center part a little bit and I'm gonna add a little bit more light to it. Okay, because there was not a good medium in between. There we go. That looks better. Okay, again, cleaning my brush, making sure all the light is out before I switch to the darker color. Getting out as much water as I can. I'm going on the bottom and on the top. Okay, that's very dark, guys. So use it sparingly. Don't use a lot of it. Okay, it's very dark. Okay, my brush is getting a little dry, adding a little bit of water to it, not too much. And then a little bit more paint at the top there. Okay, and now I have my perfect setting for the reflection. Okay, I do want all the white to be filled in though. Okay, I just want blues in my, in my painting. I just want blues to show through. So I'm gonna add a little bit more paint to my brush and I'm gonna add that dark at the top. Continuing on, let's do our landscape. Okay, so we're gonna be using our very, very dark blue in the very center. Okay, so we're gonna get our long angled brush. Okay, and we're gonna draw a line 
all the way across. It's going to be a very thin line, so don't get a lot of paint. Okay, guys? So I'm going to have two lines. No, let's just do one. All the way across the center. So I'm going to do it about right, right there. Boop. My center line. Okay, and I'm going to be drawing um, our pine trees. Okay, we're going to be drawing our, our pine trees. Okay, I'll start with my lines like these. Some of them go different ways. Some of them are very far away. Making sure my line is very straight, okay? I'm sorry, making sure my lines across are very pointed, okay? And I'm gonna turn my brush around. Same thing, all the way across. You can dip again into the black if it's not too dark for you. Or the dark blue, it's not black. Okay, I added a little bit of white paint to my lightest color and I made this lighter blue. And this is gonna be my water wave color. Okay guys, so we have our light blue, our medium blue and our dark blue, but it's in the water. So we're going to be adding this white or this lighter blue with white. And we're gonna be moving it all the way across to add movement okay to our water mostly right here in the center okay so very wistfully we're gonna add in our colors to our lightness okay so we're getting a little bit of this lighter color and we're gonna basically add like a little shimmer all the way to the bottom here okay so we're starting here across we're giving ourselves a light a light a light 
and then all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. We're even going on to this dark color here. Okay. My back and forth, my back and forth. And we're going to do this with a few colors so that it blends in and our water looks like it's moving. Okay, guys? And then we're going to give ourselves a little moon right here. Okay, so we're going in with our next color. Just to add in movement, okay? Just like we did with our Northern Lights one. Movement, color and movement. Okay, and you might be blending some of these colors in, which is fine. Okay, you can add in different colors in those areas. <clears throat> As we get to the lighter, I want you to give yourselves a little wave shape, okay? Wave shape. So remember, it's okay if we mix on the canvas, on your brush. Just be careful not to mix the colors in when you're using these darker blues, okay? And you can definitely go grab a lighter color and then add in some more light tones right here. Okay, and I'm actually going to get a little bit of the darker ones. Cleaning off those light colors from my brush. I'm going to get those. I'm going to get a little bit of the lighter color. And I'm going to add in some flecks of the darkness into the water too. Just in little parts. last part of the painting guys we're going to add a white moon and we're going to add little flecks of white to our painting so i'm going to put my moon right in the center okay right in the center i'm going to just paint my white in okay and i'm going to add little stars in the sky they're going to be different colors of blue mostly light blue and white stars in the sky more detail and you will be adding various details to your water as well okay and flex of light to the center of your painting with white. We're adding white, just basic white. To the very center of our water. I am doing little lines that look very similar to waves right here and I'm going to be adding light blue as well to this area. Okay, rinsing out my white so that I can add light blue to it. 
same areas. Movement in the water, flex up and down, very simple lines. Okay, more stars in the sky with this light blue. Okay, our reflections are going to be on the water. Once that white dries, you can add another layer of white to make it completely white. When you're working on canvas that you've already painted on, you need to add more than one layer to make it dark enough if the acrylic paint is not thick enough. And we're done.